Hi, I'm Ray Grijalva. And I'm Christina Grijalva. And this is Michael Grijalva. And this is Dominic Grijalva. And this is The, the Joy, Joy of the Faith. Faith. In this video, we're talking about adoration. And we have the boys here because they're only three months old, but they've been to adoration twice already. I know, isn't that cool? Aww. For Dominic's feast day. And then we just went one other time and it was fun. Mm -hmm. But Christina, why do you go to adoration? I go to adoration because it brings me closer to God and because I can just tell him my problems. Like when someone's being mean to me at school, mm -hmm. then I can just pray to him and everything will be better. Has it helped out? I went yesterday at 3.20 and In so, the morning? Yep. That's amazing. Thank How did you wake up? Um, well, Dad woke me up, but I got my clothes ready, I got my Bible and prayer books, and wow. I just got everything ready. And then I came there, and I saw the Eucharist in the monster, monster, monstrance, yep. monstrance, and so I just like saw him, and it's amazing how he like created all of us. And yeah, and it's crazy that like, like that little piece of bread is Jesus. What do you do when you're at adoration? Well, um, I pray, I read the Bible, sometimes I bring my prayer books and my saint books, and so like, I bring a little notebook and I like write down the notes about saints. Have you grown a lot in prayer through going to adoration? What, when do you think you started going to adoration? Like how old? Maybe like, hmm, six, five. Really? Was it hard at first? Yeah, it was sort of like... At first of all, I didn't really have anything to do, so like, I just read some prayers at Adoration, and then I brought my own stuff to do, and so I grew closer to God for these past few years. Really? Do you like it? What do you think about like it being like silent, like no one talks? Well, I think it's good that everyone's silent because we get to concentrate and just have alone time with God and just speak to him and hmm. did you ever think that it was boring no really why not because some people do and they're like oh, i'm at adoration what do i do at this place but me like i love going to adoration because it helps me grow closer to god so then i can have a great life and then i can go to heaven that's awesome christina and then hopefully all of our family goes too we're trying to get our boys to adoration as much as we can. What would you say to someone that said, well, I don't have time for adoration? Well, make time. <laughs> cause I would really know what to say to them. Cause like if people say like they don't have time and then they go and like watch TV, then like that's not important. Cause like my friend told me that watching TV I think it like rots your brain mm. and so like spending time with God is like the most important thing ever. It is. It's the only thing we can give God is our time. One last question I have for you Christina is what is the best thing that you get from adoration? Well usually when I walk out of adoration I feel like or church on Sundays I feel so happy that yeah. I spend time with God. And I just feel like more blessed and more happy and more jo joyful and loving. Mm. And so like Jesus died on the cross for us. And so if he died on the cross for us, then we can sacrifice for him and go to adoration. I agree a hundred percent. That's awesome. Well, Christina, I'm proud of you. And the boys are proud of you. Oh, he fell asleep. <laughs> oh, <gosh. laughs> Awesome. We hope that what she shared will help you get through adoration. And if you're bored at adoration, allow you to see it in a different perspective. Hope you have an amazing day and God love you.